So if I could choose a theme for this video, it would be trust your own experiences. So I've recently had a, a call from the doctor and what's, what's quite weird is in my twenties, I thought I was invincible. And then, and I always kind of thought like, if you're going to have health scares, it's going to be something major. It's going to be, it's going to be something quite intense or that every kind of illness or every symptom that came from illness had a cause and you would be able to find that cause eliminate what that cause was and the symptom would go away but in my 30s in my mid 30s like all of these random symptoms have just been coming out of nowhere like two years ago i randomly lost my sense of smell and it's still not come back this might be how i have to live my life and other random things like a respiratory issue at the end of last year that I needed an inhaler for and then it just went away. And I don't have any allergies. So it's like, where is all this coming from? So with all that in mind, I've decided to rip the band-aid off recently and, you know, start to look into the data behind my health. And I uh, got a blood test and got the results back and got a call from the the surgery place and said we've had your test results martin and we would the doctor would like to speak to you right so i instantly pooped myself and like what could that mean i feel okay i don't anyway um the next day i have a call with the doctor and he tells me that uh, my cholesterol is slightly high far from alarm alarmingly high just slightly high might be worth doing something about it and i have slightly decreased liver function might be worth doing something about it. So you asked me about kind of alcohol intake and things like that. And the reason that I want this theme to be trust your own experiences, when it comes to our health, diet, particularly nutrition, it is a minefield out there. You go and so I swear that if you, if you looked hard enough, you could f go on the internet and find a diet that would tell you how to lose uh, 30 pounds on a only chocolate eating diet. I reckon that's probably out there somewhere. And you probably know what I'm talking about in terms of kind of going out there and finding like, well, what works? There's all this, all this information. It's quite militant, isn't it? It's, it's quite militant when you go out to try and find this information because so many times these experts, these professionals are thrusting their way of thinking on to you. So you have to believe that, oh, they're, paleo diet the carnivore diet diet is perfect for you all or vegan is the only way to go or i don't know any other any other ways of eating and what's interesting was in, in my past when i was running a marathon i decided to go with the paleo diet so it was a lot of meat a lot of kind of fats and and a large amount of vegetables um lost plenty of weight and it was really really good for running a marathon but when you look at kind of high cholesterol and liver function, saturated fats are a big problem. So things with four legs generally come with a lot of saturated fats and dairy and milk and cheese. So now it looks like I might be moving towards veganism or something similar over a, a period of time because it's, it's a 35 year habit that I'm effectively gonna have to try and break here. So I'm gonna have to find new recipes and new meals. And what's been interesting is as I've started to explore it, it's become a bit of an adventure. And this is why I say trust your own experience because once you opt out from an experience saying, oh, I couldn't do that, I couldn't, that's not for me, then you're instantly opting out of something that could be fun, an adventure, an exploration of something new. And like today, for example, cutting out, um, cutting out dairy, so not having any milk at the moment. So cutting out dairy and cheese to begin with, um, massively reducing meat intake, particularly red meats and trying to stick with just chicken. And then I'll find meat alternatives and, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens, you know, moment by moment, by day by day, I'll figure out new recipes, but because of that just kind of looking around the shop found this kind of like tub of cold brew stuff with um i don't know what was it non-dairy milk or some folks like an almond milk or something like that and had it this morning and oh oh god it was so good 
it was genuinely so, so, so tasty. So the fact that that exists, and I wouldn't have gone that because I would have stick, stuck with milk, coffee, milk, tea with a little bit of sugar or sweetener or whatever. And it's funny how when you start to explore things, things come up as long as you're open to it. So I think it's really, really important that when it comes to our health and our nutrition is that you trust your own experience. Yes, you can take the guidance. Yes, you can take the information. But above all, trust your own experience. Get curious and you'll be amazed at what kind of adventure and exploration you can have on a journey like this. I'm actually excited about making this, making this change, excited about making this movement. So when you think about anything that you want to achieve or overcome in your life, get excited because that curiosity, that adventurousness, combined with trusting your own experience could make the world of difference to whatever you're looking to tackle in your life. Well, that's a bit of Valentine's uh, self-exploratory, dare I say, wisdom. That sounds egotistical, so I'm not gonna say wisdom. I'm just gonna say I turn the camera on and I hope it helped. I'll see you tomorrow.